Okay, so this here is gonna be a quick introduction and a little tutorial on how to use this app. So basically, uh, with this app, you can get extra practice for your math class, for your tests and homework and things like that. And uh, it is free, and it's available now on the iPhone and iPod, and an iPad version may be coming out a little bit later. So it's called Study for Math, so a pretty straightforward title. And there is a link in the video description to download this. So uh, let's open that up, and then uh, we see a list of courses, so Trig, Calc 1, and Calc 2 for now. Uh, more courses will be coming out in future updates. There's also a help section that talks about how to use the app, and an about section that talks about what the app is, uh, basically. So let's, uh, Calc 1 right now has the most number of topics, so we'll go ahead and open that one up. Uh, the other courses will be getting more topics in future updates. So when we open that up, we see a list of topics here. So let's say we want to practice uh, the chain rule. So we'll zoom in a little bit here. If we want to get extra practice with the chain rule, we'll open that up. And we see there's a list of uh, 16 problems here we can work through for extra practice. Okay. So let's go back to the list and look at implicit differentiation. So for that, there are six problems. Okay, so um, let's open up number one. So once the problem loads, we can work through it. Um, and then once we work through it, uh, we can come back to the app and then tap the answer button uh, to check ourselves. So here, when we do that, we'll be given the answer along with a step-by-step -step solution on how to get to the answer. So we'll zoom out a little bit here. Okay, okay so uh, again, tap the answer button to get, a, to get the actual answer and a step-by-step -step solution on how to get there. So once we go through that, we can tap answer again to hide the answer and work through the problem again. Or what we could do is tap this refresh icon, that circular arrow, tap that to regenerate the problem with a different set of numbers. Okay, so we can uh, practice the same type of problem just with different numbers. Um, and we can keep doing that over and over until we kind of get the hang of it. And what's nice is uh, with, um, you know, every time we regenerate this problem with new numbers, we can tap answer here to get uh, the answer and a step-by-step -step solution on how to get to that um, specific answer for the specific problem here. Okay, so tap refresh, new problem, tap answer. Uh, there's the answer specific to this problem and the step-by-step -step solution specific to that answer. Okay. So once we're done, we can tap back to go to the list of problems and choose a new uh, problem. Or um, from this problem, we can just tap the right arrow to go to the next problem or the left arrow to go to the previous problem. So if we tap right, we'll go to problem number two. You tap right, go to problem number three. Tap left, go back to number two. Okay, so um, here's problem number two. And then once we work through that, we can tap the answer button. And we see that the solution is a little too big to fit. So let's go ahead and zoom out here. So what we could do is just uh, zoom out until it fits, but it's kind of small, kind of hard to read. So then what we could do is just uh, zoom back in and we can uh, rotate this into landscape mode and then we see it fits there. Okay, so the point here is uh, landscape mode or portrait mode, whichever works better, either is fine to use. And that's pretty much it. So again, uh, it is free. It's available now on the iPhone and iPod and uh, an iPad version may be coming out later. There's a link to download it in the video description and more courses and more topics will come out in future updates.